Hi, the Give MedHealth theme this week is connection. Our community has remained resilient throughout the decades because of the strong connections that bind us. For nonprofits in the MedHow, strengthening our collaboration, recognizing our interconnectedness, and appreciating our different perspectives has been inspiring. In this last week of Give MedHow, we would like to acknowledge that this shared sense of community is what makes the Valley the extraordinary place that it is. The organizations you're about to hear from help give our children a joy in learning and music, support our elders to stay in their homes, or give them a home with full support if needed. Provide a meeting and education space for all Valley residents. Preserve and share our Valley's history to give us a sense of place. Inspire an appreciation for the land upon which we live and allow us to take care of each other. The strength and resilience of our Valley depend upon the community members and community organizations continuing to work together. In this spirit, we are grateful for your support. Cascadia music began in 1986, right here at the Schaefer Museum with a band shell and some dedicated volunteers, and has grown to become Cascadia Music Today, building community by connecting musicians through community ensembles and performances of the Cascadia Chorale and the Meta Valley Orchestra, through the Pipestone School of Music, through lessons, summer camp, and scholarships from the Charrington Scholarship Fund and through performances of local musicians sharing their talents. For now, many of our programs, including our teacher directory and musicians of the Metau directory, have moved online so that we can stay connected while keeping each other safe. Your donations make it possible to keep connecting through artist workshops, online lessons, and classes. Music and the arts lift us up and show us just how connected we all are. Thank you for supporting the arts in your community. The Schaefer Museum holds a special place in our hearts because it's where Cascadia music began over 30 years ago. The Schaefer Museum is a place where history comes to life in the stories and records preserved by dedicated volunteers for over 40 years. The Schaefer Museum has inspired generations to learn together and is still inspiring us to share the stories and wisdom that connect us all. From the 1918 pandemic, we have stories about how Methow Valley neighbors helped provide meals, fresh water, clean laundry, and fed animals while families were stricken with flu because the stories have been held in our collective memory and in the archives at the Schaefer Museum. The Schaefer Historical Museum has been preserving and sharing Methow Valley history for more than 40 years with a mission to inspire human connection and learning across generations. But the museum has been a silent place this summer. Nearly 80% of the museum's revenue comes in through the open season, precisely the time museums were closed due to COVID restrictions and health precautions for our volunteer docents. Although we didn't have visitors this year, Volunteers have been busy finding other ways to share our history, posting photos online that are usually protected away in boxes, and making the outdoor exhibits accessible. Your Give Met How donations will go towards creating new educational programs to support our local school kids learning remotely with their families and to bring COVID-safe activities on site next summer. These programs will delve into the as yet untold histories of people in the Methow Valley alongside more familiar stories of the pioneers and miners and farmers who founded the towns here. In this time of social unrest, historic pandemic and economic downturn, we turn to history to help us understand how we got here and for the lessons that can inspire a better future. If there's one thing history shows us, it's that we all need help from our neighbors now and then. And as we age, that becomes more and more important to our health and happiness. Met How at Home supports adults in continuing to live in their homes as they age. This both helps our elders and enriches the lives of the volunteers who get to hear their many stories and tales of past days while helping out. And all of us get to keep these sources of wisdom and history close by. Whether it's borrowing tools, a cup of sugar, or helping raise a barn roof, neighbors help neighbors around the Methow Valley. 
Please join me in supporting Met How at Home and their efforts to provide community and companionship for our older neighbors. Carlin Gunderson, superstar volunteer and member, explains why Met How at Home is an integral part of this community. If we're fortunate to live long enough, all of us will be senior citizens someday, and most of us would like to continue living in our homes for as long as we can. Our elders enrich our families and our communities through their experience, wisdom, kindness, and generosity of spirit. They offer us a sense of history and help us to honor our roots and deepen them. Metow at Home shows how this community values its seniors by providing services that make it easier for our members to stay in their homes and in our community. The education programs and activities help to lift us all up especially during this pandemic. The directors, members, and volunteers I've had the privilege to meet through Metow at Home have enriched my life beyond anything I could have imagined. I hope I'm able to enrich their lives too. It is an honor to talk to you about the Metow Valley Interpretive Center because we share the same values of honoring our elders, connecting to this incredible place, and deepening our knowledge with education. From their hosting of tribal storytellers, tending to these beautiful native plant gardens, curating educational exhibits and programs, and building relationships over time, the center holds a wisdom that we need now more than ever. For almost a decade now, the Medhaw Valley Interpretive Center has been recognizing the pre-European indigenous inhabitants of the Medhaw Valley and its geology and natural history through displays, presentations, seasonal gatherings, online videos, school visits, field trips, classes, and more. It is a place of discovery and connection where past, present, and future meet in the sharing of stories, a native flower, a salmon celebration, in the sparkle in a child's eyes and in the very center itself. Please help us to continue to thrive and grow as we deepen our connection to this place that we all love so much. Hello, I'm David Lefevre, Executive Director of the Medhaw Valley Interpretive Center, and I want to tell you about one of my favorite local nonprofits, Jamie's Place. Pre-COVID times, my daughters and I participated in Lunch with Elders, where we developed relationships that we might not otherwise have done. This quickly became a highlight of our week, and I see the positive impact from this intergenerational relationship building to this day, as my daughters refer to all older members of society as elders. Thank you so much, Jamie's Place. Hi, I'm Raleigh Bowden. We're very proud that Jamie's Place